Look at this. Hello, guys and gals, and welcome. So today, we're gonna play some uh, Diablo three. Today is um, another day on the countdown. It is the day through Diablo's past, and um, what better way to look at Diablo's fa past but to look at uh, well, to look at Diablo three. Diablo three is part of Diablo two's past, isn't it? And um, it's a very interesting thing to look at. As you can see, we've got the Cow King here. Um, I'm still trying to get this exactly right, so give me just a minute. I've got a little bit of an uh, issue with the encoding. I'm going to uh, drop my settings here a little bit. We're going to go down to 1440p. I'm going to see if that has a better effect on the, uh, on the encoding lag here. Forgive me, I think this is actually the first time I've ever streamed Diablo 3. And uh, and there are some issues here, some logistical issues. Alright, let's see how the game uh, likes that. Try this. I'm not trying a little frog. It's got a lot of hair on it. The what? I'm eating a frog. I hope you guys are happy. <laughs> What's up, Deviant Brute? So if we're taking a journey through Diablo 2's past, we've got to take a, a journey through Diablo 3. And Diablo 3 is definitely Diablo 2's past. We're moving on from Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is the past. Diablo 2 Resurrected is the future. Alright? So we are we are here in, in Diablo 2's past. And and I have put uh, I have put quite a bit of time into Diablo 3. As you can see here, I put 26 hours into this little... Level 70 Crusader. I've got 50 some odd hours in this stupid little uh, demon hunter. I made a second Crusader. 73 hours into that one. Mr. T over here, the third Crusader. None of them really like quenched my thirst. That was like my biggest problem with Diablo 3. Was like, uh, all I really wanted was something that would quench my thirst for Diablo 2. Like my, my, uh, you know, my, my hunger, I needed something to quell the hunger, the, the, the beast inside that was craving for something that wasn't there. And and I played Diablo um, 3, and I played literally three different Crusaders and built them three different ways. And, uh, and none of them really were that great, to be honest. They really weren't. <laughs> I will join on PC when nobody's on PS4. Going Blizz Fireball Sork. All right. Well, I'll do a. Uh, I'll update that in there. Hold on, give me just a second. I'll put a uh, a post in the uh, the group selection here. Uh, where is that? At Deviant Root. Will be the captain for the PlayStation or slash five groups. Pink. So we still need one for the Xbox and one for the uh, Nintendo Switch. I do plan to play on the Nintendo Switch. So uh, so that that's a thing. Yep, three days to go. Pirate Dan, three days to go. Um, I mean, if you want to uh, just, if you see anybody posting in there about PlayStation, just, you know, contact them and, and give them your deets. 
Who are we going to play? I, I haven't played these characters in so long. I think it's been like a year and a half, probably, since I've played any of these characters. Uh, last time I played was on my Nintendo Switch. I, I distinctly remember playing on my Nintendo Switch. Because um, when it came out on the Switch, I was super excited because I wanted to be able to play on the go. And um, and I did end up leveling up a couple new characters. Um, I'm not sure about that Deviant Root. It's uh, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. A little monk's only level 55, but I played him for 54 hours. Oh, that's right, because this monk was from launch. He's a launch monk. So when the game first came out, I remember I played him when the game first came out, and uh, he wasn't... Uh, the launch was awful. Like, it was awful on Diablo 3. And uh, and I remember never leveling him up to, to, to cap. And I think I only had, like, just gone back and barely touched on him for a very brief period of time. I mean, we could always make a new character, too. I have the Necromancer over here. Let's go take a look at my Necromancer, shall we? I have no idea where he was last, what torment he was in, what challenge rift he last completed. Absolutely nothing. Sublimation cups? What's a sublimation cup? Is that like a method of uh, of putting the Air 37? Oh, okay. Oh, Paragon points. I have no clue what I'm doing. I got no clue what the buttons do. I got no clue what I had on last. Looks like I was using um, the ring set. Yes, I was using the ring set. Uh, Litany of Nightmare, or Legacy of Nightmares. Litany of the Undaunted and Wailing Host Finger. While this is the only item set bonus, every ancient item you have equipped will increase your damage dealt by 750% and reduces your damage taken by 4%. So I've got like tons of uh, of ancient legendary items on. Uh, most of them are absolute garbage, and the only reason they're there is to give me more damage, which is kind of sad. <laughs> What's up, lie that you adore? We're in we're in Diablo's past, lie that you adore. We are in we we are in the past. Don't be rude about the past, okay? We have to learn from the past. The past is important. We are learning from the past. What skills do I have? I have Decrepify. I have Command Skeletons. I have Command Golem. I have Revive. I have... Oh, that's right. I have my Golem set up so I can get Revived from him. Uh, I have Grim Scythe, which is... What? My main ability... And then I'm using that what? Needs what? To recharge. what? What needs to read? What do I even do? Rip bones from nearby enemies, creating armor. Hmm. Come, Mister Hollow Knight. You have been requested. Your presence is requested. <laughs> Every stream, right at the start. I mean, if nobody does it, he won't come out, so. If nobody does it, he won't come out. This is, this is a regular game, isn't it? Leave game. I need something else, please. Um, change type of game. If I remember correctly, you can do adventure modes, challenge rifts. Let's do adventure mode. Let's change this to... Uh, I know I, I at least was way past Torment, like six. Uh, I can't remember which one of these I was on. 
I really don't remember at all. I guess the only way to test it is to go there and uh, and see how I do. Let's go to Torment 10. That seems like a nice uh, a nice start to the uh, adventure. I was prepared, sirs. I am prepared. I got me some glacier cherry. What's up, Anthica? We got a nice little full house today. We're getting closer and closer to launch, so everybody's all excited. Oh, wait, there was two of you. Take it forever to load. I don't remember it taking this long to load. It's on a freaking solid state. What the hell's going on with this? My computer's faster than it was before, and my computer is uh, running on NVMEs. Are we going to load anytime soon? <laughs> have, you, have I missed anything? Not really, Anthica. Just us traveling through the past of Diablo. Through the you might think it's uh it's 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 not the past since this is Diablo three and Diablo two is only Diablo two, but Diablo three is in the past of Diablo two. It is in the past. Because now that Diablo two has erected is coming out, Diablo three is in the past. Don't be shy. I have Paragon points unspent. Life per hit. Armor. Defense. I think something must be wrong. My Nintendo Switch version and my, my Battle.net version on my PC must be different because I could have sworn I've had much more Paragon, Paragon points than this. If I remember correctly, I had capped out everything. On all four, all three of these trees, because I remember you can cap out all three of these trees, and uh, and then this was the one that I was working on. Like it doesn't seem to be matched up. Let me take a look at my switch real quick, just to see, because I feel like this is. Uh, I don't even know if it's still installed on my Nintendo Switch. It's been a long time since I played Diablo Three. Where are you? Like way down here, probably at the bottom. I don't even think it's on here, dang. Oh, there it is. Insert game card. Okay, well that's not going to happen right this second. That's not going to happen. I didn't buy the digital. I didn't buy the digital edition. I bought the uh, the physical edition. And it's very sad that Nintendo Switch is not going to get a physical edition. Alright, well I guess let's just start out with something easy. Um... Let me take a look at my cube real quick and see what I have running in my cube. So I've got Trangle's Corroded Fang. The Cursed Scythe Rune for the Grim Scythe now has a 100% chance to apply a curse. And you deal 200% damage to enemies. Uh, Sanguine of Bracers. Chance on being hit to deal 1000% of your thorns to nearby enemies. You deal 100% increased damage against slowed enemies or triple this bonus against enemies afflicted by any other type of control impairing effect. This doesn't seem like a good item. Unless I happen to have like a massive amount of thorns, which uh, I, I guess I do. 173,000 thorns. Alright, whatever. Moving right along. Let's just do a regular Nephilim Rift. My mouse seems to be out of sync. It does seem to be out of sync. You're absolutely correct. That's strange. 
Why is that? It's very out of sync. Like... Very, very out of sync. That is really strange. What the heck? I have absolutely no clue how to fix that. I don't even know what's broken. Alright, well, I seem to be completely uh, overpowered for Torment 10, so... Um oh wow, this is laggy as all get out there. Did, it just, that, did the game just like super lag up for you guys as well? Because like, I swear I was like, all of a sudden it was just like I couldn't even see anything. It was very laggy. I hope Diablo 2 Resurrected is not this laggy. Look at those freaking insane numbers that I'm dishing out. Like 198 million? Did I just see 198 million? Did that, well, did that say 14 billion? I'm pretty sure that said 14 billion damage is what I just did. I'm afraid not. 14 billion. I tell you, man, Diablo 3 always left me with this bad taste in my mouth of a... Of a game that, um, a, ga a game that, like, literally just went on forever. Like, there was no end. Didn't matter how well you built, didn't, didn't, didn't ever matter how well you built your character, didn't ever matter, like, like, how awesome you were. Like, there was always another level. There was always another place to go. There was no, there was no actual end. It just kept going forever and ever and ever. It's like that song, you know? This is the song that never ends. This is the song that never ends. Some people started singing it and then they really cried because then they realized that they had to sing forever just because this is a song that never ends. And my girlfriend's making fun of me. But it doesn't matter because I cannot stop singing it because this is the song that goes on forever just because this is a song that never ends. And you know what ends up happening with the song that never ends? You just stop singing it, and you just move on. Just because the song doesn't end doesn't mean that you have to keep singing it. And that's kind of what happens with Diablo 3, is you just... you Eventually you realize, hey, this game never ends. There's no, there's no end to it. There's no ultimate, I've gotten the perfect build set up. There's no... You know, like, it's just, oh, it just keeps going. So you just, eventually you're just like, okay, well I'm just gonna not keep going. And, uh, and we'll just, we'll just finish. So this is insanely easy. I'm not, there's no challenge whatsoever. Nothing is even hurting me. Um, like, at all. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna leave here. Uh, I told you guys I got pretty far in this game. I just don't remember how far exactly. Uh, I did play it for a really long time, so there's that. And this this rift is absolutely garbage. I mean, I guess I could finish it just because I opened it up, but isn't there a way I can close it? Don't I talk to what's his face? Where's he at? You. We stopped on T Torment sixteen. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Well, let's uh, let's go to Torment 16 then, shall we? Let's see how we deal on to Torment 16. I don't know if all of my characters are uh, in Torment 16, but uh, but we can certainly um, we can certainly try. I don't really know exactly where where I finished. 
I remember Mark being really tanky, and I wasn't. A free one for you guys. I'm actually thirsty. Uh, more points in intelligence, of course, because cookie cutter builds. Alright, let's do a rift here. Torment 16 rift. Let's see how good my necromancer can dish out the damage here. Probably not. It's probably going to be a pain in the butt. Unfortunately, that's how, that's kind of how you have to do things. If you haven't played in a while, you just kind of have to like be like, oh, okay, well, let me go way too high, and then let me dial it down a little bit and see where I can actually make things work. And uh, Many enough of them have stood where you are now. Have they really, though? Okay. Difficulty. Definitely getting hurt. We've got some uh, we've got some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We've got some work to do now. So that's exactly how I remember it. I was not very tanky. Um, I was I was strong, but I was not very tanky, and uh, and I could take out the targets. And Mark was the one that was tanking, and I was the one that was hiding in the back, trying not to die. But, uh, but I was pushing out the damage, though, and that was what was important. Torment 16, ladies and gentlemen. Give me some corpses, please. I gotta make sure I'm applying my curses. I get tons of extra damage for cursing things. And my curse is free, essentially. Like, it's not even just that my curse makes them take more damage. It's that, um, it's that my monsters deal like massive amounts of extra damage to anything that's cursed. If I remember correctly, that was how I was building my character anyway. The curse explosion. What's that, Noah? been a really long time. Feel free to refresh my memory, because uh, cause I remember next to nothing. I mean, I ain't beating no speed records, but I'm in Torment 16. Ooh. Ooh, trapped in a box. I miss my archers. Why don't I have my archers anymore? And I'm about to die again because I'm standing in poison. I am so not strong enough to actually uh, like take the damage. Oh, a set helmet and some death's breaths. Identify. Rathma's Skull Helmet. I'm not wearing... 9,000% extra damage. I'm not wearing sets, sir. Oh, I got gems, too. That's right. I got Bane, Gem of the Trapped. Uh, increases damage against anyone under control. Impairing effects. That's right. Um, that's why I'm spamming the curses, because it increases all my damage for every curse time that I'm cursing things. Uh, the thorns and the taunts, and then I'm also using the increased damage to pets, and the pets take less damage. A 
Perceptive lance. That's not a lance. How is that a lance? I cannot wield that. It's tiny. Question for you guys and GGM. Do you two find D3 too colorful to the setting of the Diablo universe? Yes, it looks like World of Warcraft. It looks like World of Warcraft and uh, Diablo had a baby, and the baby, like, took on most of the characteristics of World of Warcraft, and very few of the characteristics of Diablo. And, um, and I don't really understand why they decided to change the art style of the game. I feel like that was a really stupid move. I mean, you have a game that has a unique art style. It is, it is loved by many, many people. Why do you feel the need to change that art style? I don't understand. I knew that was coming. I don't know what, what damage I was taking. Like, I couldn't even figure out where the damage was coming from. I'm assuming... Oh, I see it. I see it. I remember now. It's the stupid little frost. Uh, the frost enchanted monsters have that little effect that appears underneath your feet. And it's really difficult to see. I remember now. It's starting to come back to me ever so slowly. Although not quickly enough as I just died to it again. Freaking illusionist poison enchanter frozen. And there's another one. Your death nears. I must wait. Yeah, just die already. Thank you, sir. Draw me an ancient, please. What'd you give me? Anything ancient? It's gotta be ancient. I need ancient legendary. No, no, it's just regular legendary. I don't want regular legendary. Poopies. Oh, hello. They get in here and start whacking some stuff. Look at those just ridiculously stupid numbers peering over the monster's heads. Like, I don't even get it. I'm like, in the billions. Millions of damage later. Ow, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to politely stop it. Stab. Torment 16. Is there a higher torment than torment 16? Because I feel like I could do a higher torment than torment 16 right now. Like, I, yeah, I know I'm having trouble because I'm dying, but uh, but I don't really see that as an issue if I move around properly and I kite properly as a necromancer. It seems like I'd be I'd do all right. I'm just not exactly sure what I'm taking damage from half the time because I've forgotten half the moves in this game. Okay, rush over here and be a douche. Well, there we go. Dead again. Dead again, because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Let's go play another character I don't know what I'm doing on. Healing well. Guess we'll finish one greater rift with this guy first. Well, hello there. Oh, another frozen monster. Electrified frozen illusionist. Give it more time. Another one of them ice things. 
Don't you just love how you can just resurrect yourself at will? Like, who cares about actually, you know, uh, having any consequences to your death of, of any kind? Let's just make it so you can resurrect over and over again at your corpse. That needs to recharge. Yeah, greater rifts are timed. Well, I'm definitely not going to complete a greater rift right now. Remember it. I've I've completely forgotten how to play all these characters. I have absolutely no I've I have no memory. I have no a Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. I have no memory in this of this place. I have no memory. No memory. That needs to recharge. The bone armor looks so stupid. It looks so dumb. Ow, it doesn't even work. I must wait longer. I'm really not even sure what killed me there at all. I can't even, I don't even remember. I'm guessing that one of those monsters is spawning little uh, little creatures that are chasing me around and exploding. I can't, uh, for the life of me, figure out which one it is, though. I'm going to die over and over again. Y'all watch. Till all are dead. The dude has 124 billion. 626 million. 157,568 health. I must wait. Let's just keep raising them numbers higher. I remember I played one of them clicker games that just like stack overflowed. Like, literally, you would get to the point where there just wasn't enough numbers on a computer to be able to play the game, because it was, like, in the quintillion numbers. I was, like, hitting somebody for, like, one quintwi quintillion damage. Quintillion. Go, my minions, go forth. I mean, I could just stand back here and let them do stuff, but... I feel like uh, it goes faster if I'm in here whacking things. A little bit more dangerous, but a little more... Uh, a little more faster. I'm sure there was some special trick I was using, and I have no clue what that special trick is. Oh yeah, definitely stay physical. Definitely, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. I, I'm I'm a little worried about the fact they're not allowing lobbies and stuff like that, but uh, but I get the feeling that people are gonna be really vocal about this until they either fix it or they come up with a solution. I don't think this is just gonna go away. Well, my thing is, you don't need Torment 16 to make a game difficult. That needs to like, the upgrades that you get are, like, so vast and so ridiculous most of the time. That they, they, they literally, like, one good piece of equipment sometimes can completely bump you up by, like, seven or eight Torments. And it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So you know how in um, Diablo 2, um, you can create a room and you can name it. That's essentially called a lobby. So a lobby is a place where people will go and join, um, you know, to to actually, you know, they, they will like browse through a list, essentially, 
of lobbies. Um, and the list of lobbies will have, you know, everything that everyone has made for the past, you know, like 30 minutes or so forth or so on. And you choose where you want to go. Instead of doing lobbies, they're like really dead set on this idea of creating... Um, hold on, let me turn the, music, the, the sound down just a little bit. I'm, I can't, I'm trying to like talk over myself here. Let's turn this down just a tad. Um, but it, so basically instead of doing that, they're trying to do this stupid thing, which I don't really understand, of choosing, like, the objective that you want. Um, and then if you choose the objective you want, um, it will put you in the game that supposedly is the game that you would, you know, otherwise want. So, like, say you want to kill Diablo. You would go to a little panel, and you would choose from the list that you want to kill Diablo. And then when you choose from the list that you want to kill Diablo, it will just automatically find you a game that has been created for that goal. And uh, and there are a lot of problems with that. It's, um, it, as DeviantRoot pointed out, it is not great for, um, for trading. Um, first, off, first and foremost, it makes trading very difficult. Um, it also doesn't really work if it's not filtering the games properly so when, so when you're when you're choosing essentially you know what you would like to the game that you would like to join you you apply your own filters right they're, they're called mind filters let's uh, we'll, we'll, we'll coin a term you, you apply your mind filters to the to the the task right so uh, let's say you were joining a bail run and the bail run had been going for 40 minutes you would not join that bail run because most likely if a bail run has been going for 40 minutes, it's over. Um, or, you know, if you were to join a game, you might specifically want to join a game that is full. So you might be looking for a game that is already at six or seven people because you're, you're going to want that, that bonus to Magic Five. Maybe that's specifically your purpose. Um, so you can't look for games that are full. Um, some people also like to look at the, the composition of the group before they join. So, you know, you can see what players are in the game, and you can also see, um, you know, what classes are in the game. So if you, like, join a game, and you see a bunch of people in there, and uh, and they're all paladins, or they're all sorceresses or something, you know, you might, you might specifically be looking for a game that has a bunch of sorceresses, because you have a bunch of sorceress equipment that you want to give away. Um, you know, there's a there's a, a hundred reasons I can come up with off the top of my head that the, the system that they're trying to use is absolutely worthless, but they seem to be dedicated to trying to use this stupid system. Um, what build am I going to be starting out with? Stay physical. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a summon druid. Like 99.9% .9 sure. Um, I mean summon summon druid. Huh? Summon necromancer is what I meant. I got I got uh, Diablo three on the brain. It's messing me up. That is not possible. Yeah, um, Deviant Brute is uh, actually um, our resident expert on the consoles. Um, he was playing all during the beta during the console, so let me uh, let me hop into the uh, Discord so he can talk about this. You are live, Deviant Brute. So, like you were talking about, if you want to join a mail run, when you create a lobby, you select what quest. You want. So if I wanted to run mail run, it's like mail quest. I open the game. As soon as we kill mail in that game, that game then turns into a free. So if we kill Bale, when somebody else gets to click on the Bale run game, they would not join into our game any longer, because at that point our game will have been moved to the free roam tab. Hmm. Free roam tab. Yeah, so they're going to have, so you're going to be able to select what quests you want to do. If we start day one, act one, and I create a lobby for act one, Den of Evil, and then I complete Den of Evil, the only way you're going to be able to join my game randomly then if you try to join a free room. Well, that just sounds absolutely stupid. Because if, if because if you if you let's let's for instance say you did like an Act One start Den of Evil game, and uh, and I wanted to join you, and maybe maybe I'm on like 
you know, outer cloister. And uh, and I can see that the game's been running for a little while. I might join you anyway because we can sync up. Yeah. But you're saying that as soon as you complete the Den of Evil, the game goes to a free roam, and so there's no yes. way to actually know it was that. Yep. So day one, if I created the lobby, the Den of Evil, and then me and my group, I had three people with me, say, went and did, did the Den of Evil. As soon as we get our quest reward from Akara, that game then turns into free roam. So then people can't join us on it. I wish they would do after you complete a quest and turn it into a game for the next quest on the But at the same point, they did that to avoid people joining fail games as they go. I mean, I I feel like that people are still going to come up with ways to, to work this system to their advantage. Oh, I'm sure we um, you know, like, if they're trying to prevent, like, bail games or something, like, it's, they're probably still gonna end up be, being bail games. Oh, they're still gonna be bail games. They'll just, they'll just be this, like, it. unconscious, like, note that, like, whenever you make such and such game, it's always a bail game. Yeah. What, what they did, the reason they did that was to prevent, so, if you open a bail game, and you went and you did bail, and your game doesn't turn into a free road game, you have somebody go AFK inside of that game, then later on you can select to go into a bail game and pop your foot right back into that lobby. Whereas with it being turned into a game, you'll never enter a dead bail. I know, it just seems silly not to just give people the ability to make games. It, it is very silly. I, I, maybe it's a hard thing for them to program for us to have custom lobbies. Oh, no, I don't do any computer programming. Maybe it's just a hard thing for me to do, and they can't come up with a way to do it right now. These freaking arcane things, and this guy with the freaking Waller arcane, he keeps he keeps spawning like four arcanes on top of me and then walling me in. It's it's If I was a PvPer, like, that would be what I would do. I'd level up arcane and Waller, and I would just wall people yeah. in with arcanes. Yeah, that's how the lot is. It's not uh, here we go again. But it's, it's better than it was in Facebook. I mean, they added more options, which I can I can yeah. see. I just, I just can you actually see how long the game has been running? Can you actually see how many people are in the game, or does it just randomly that, throw you into a game? It randomly throws you into a game. Now I'm not sure if it'll randomly just throw you into the game. Or if it'll do, I don't know if you're to join a random lobby on screen, three, but it puts you in like a screen where you can see who all's in the game before you actually join in. And I don't know if they're going to do that, have a timer for you to see how long the game's been running, or if you're just going to get shoved right into a game to mark what you select for to play. It all sounds really stupid. It I mean, sounds it, very stupid. It sounds I like, mean, I'm going to get the shot right to It just sounds like they're trying so hard to get around a keyboard, when all they, they, uh, all they, they have really to do are. is just let people use a keyboard. Which I don't know why they won't. There's a bunch of games on console. I mean, it's also very interesting. I don't know if you ever, if you ever actually tried. You can't use controller on Diablo three either, on PC. Yeah. No. They just they were just like you know we're not gonna let you use controller. Nope. And I'm like what? Repair, salvage, just salvage it all. I don't care. Salvage that too. And that, yes. All this junk. I don't want this junk. Take all the junk. I don't want this set item me. There's screw that. <laughs> I have these. I always loved using these uh, Diablo three. It was uh, the Nemesis bracers because every yeah. time you click on a pylon, it automatically spawns the. Uh, yep. Those those are always my cube dive. I don't have ancient legendary ones though, so uh, it doesn't match up with my set. I think it's the only, that's the only reason they're not on. Yes. Why do you keep glancing over at Kadala? The art style definitely turned me off on this game when I first started playing. That's for sure. Yep, me too. I think that was one of the biggest things that I didn't like about this game is the I, art style. The only style. reason I played. Is The only you play, reason you play it is what? Because my kids play it. Uh, let me try. I got all this stuff up on the screen. Oh, all tabbing. Issues. 
I go check out one of my other characters and see what they're doing. I remember, um, I really didn't like the set armors in this game. I remember that. Like, the set armors were, were interesting, but they were always like, you have this set and you have to use it this particular way. And if you don't use it this particular way, then, then you, you're screwed. And you have to use this ability, and you have to use this ability, and you have to use this ability, and like... I just remember looking at these sets and I was like, I don't want to use that ability. I don't want to use that ability either. That ability sucks. I really don't want to use that one. <laughs> and I was just like, can I just do what I want to do? Can I build my characters how I want to build my characters, please? And the only set in the game that I found that would actually let you build your characters the way you wanted to build them was the uh, was the Litany of the Undaunted um, set. Because basically what it did was is it allowed you to customize the way that you built your character as opposed to um, having to do like the cookie cutter build that they handed you. That needs to recharge. I did have another two arm question for you though. Yeah, what? I got a D2R question. Oh yeah, Diablo 2 Resurrected question. Let's go. Okay, so they're allowing you to import your single player D2 bot characters resurrected, correct? Yeah, so all your single player okay. save files. And they stated that there is no modding to be done in D2R. So does that mean if you import a character that you hero edit, will you be banned from D2R or will they just not Allow that character to be important. They don't care about single player. Oh, okay, makes sense. They're not going to ban you on single player. That's, Sing one of my, one of our buddies is a big single player person. Like that's all he's ever played. This will be his first time playing Battle Net with us. No, if, if you ask if any of his single player hero edited characters to be allowed to transfer. Them. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't want to transfer them all over. They don't give two craps about single player. Um, during the beta, the alpha event, sorry, the alpha event, um, you remember they duped a bunch of items? And yeah. everybody was like, oh my god, they're already duping items! And uh, and literally one of the developers was like, it's single player. I, <laughs> like, he literally was like, we don't care about single player. It's like, we're, we care about online. Online aspect. How do, you, wanna... how do you feel about them fixing the e bugs? I don't know. I don't, I don't really, I, I'm not really too uh, too passionate about that. I, it, it glitches are an interesting thing in my book because I don't like glitches. I don't, and and when characters are built around glitches, I don't like that either. So, uh, the only the only thing that uh, the e-bug has going for it in my book is the fact that, um, you know, it's it was a glitch that was deliberately left in the game by the developers, so they chose to leave it in the game. So I mean, if they chose to leave it in the game, it should stay. But um, but as I was talking about the other day, is um, the e-bug was not a, it was never something that was done on purpose. It was all an accident. Yeah. Like the, so it very well could be that they accidentally screwed it up. Wow, like two shot. Come over here. I'm uh, I'm more concerned with uh, with bugs that um, are less apparent, like ones that uh, that newer players are not going to know about. Yeah, like, like uh, I'm I'm honestly happy that they fixed the bug. Like weapon swap glitch. So uh, WSG weapon swap glitch is literally a bug that most people don't know about. It's it's not something that's apparent. And unless you PvP and you actually play around with it, or somebody actually tells you, you're not going to know about it. Um, those kind of glitches, I'm not on the side of. Like, to me, if if one person has the advantage over another person because they know about a glitch that you don't know about, that you're not going to be able to find out unless somebody tells you, and we have a massive number of brand new players coming in, I mean... I'm sure that there's going to be literally millions of brand new players that have absolutely no oh, clue that Weapon Swap Glitch exists. Player. That's the kind of thing that they need to they need to address. And they, I feel like they kind of killed PvP. Uh, basically, in the game, there is a stun mechanic, right? So Smite has a stun. 
Mind Blast has a stun. Uh, was it Bash has a stun, I think? Yep. Uh, so several skills and abilities in the game have a stun. Well, in PvP, when you are fighting somebody and they stun lock you, um, there is no mechanic in the game to actually break the stun. Once you are stun locked, that is it, you're dead. Like, they can just continually stun lock you forever until, you're, until you die. And um, the very interesting thing about this is that the only way that was ever out of it, that you could ever get out of it, was to um, to use this weapon swap glitch. And uh, and basically what a weapon swap glitch is, is while you're stunned, you, you press the W key to swap weapon sets. Um, and while spamming the swap weapon sets, it essentially pulls you out of the stun mechanic. Um, and it's, it's basically a way for them to... Um, the hell where is my band button and they have fixed the weapon swap glitch but they also got rid of stun lock they got rid of stun lock how did they do that yes i was i i do not know i was watching a video on youtube the other day about a guy talking about how he was going to get into pvp for diablo 2 and that the reason he was finally getting into it is you can no longer stun lock each other on d2r Well, I have no clue how they pulled that off then. Um, but yeah, basically they were they were mad because the um, the stun lock, the the thing that allows you to get out of a stun lock was broken. But if uh, what he's if what uh, Deviant is saying that the um, the stun lock is no longer a thing, then you don't need weapon swap glitch to get out of the stun lock. So, and you no longer have to be scared of spiders. It basically broke you out of the stun lock. Yes. It was a it was a glitch. It was never an intention. What the hell is Corpse Lance? God, I have absolutely no clue what these abilities and skills are. I'm not using Corpse Lance, I know that much. It is an ancient legendary though, and it will beef up my damage, but I'm already using ancient legendary. And it is way less intelligence. And most people don't. Um, and it's funny, even even the 20 year veterans, most of the time, don't know about weapon swap glitch. Oh, I and, did not know about the weapon swap glitch until I've been playing for like 12 years. And here's the interesting thing, is that when you bring this up to people who have PvP a lot and who do know that weapon swap, swap glitch exists, and you tell them that it's an unfair advantage because people don't know that it exists, they look at you like you're an idiot. But literally, you talk to people about it. People have been playing Diablo for 20 years, and they don't know that Weapon Swap Glitch exists. It's not as apparent as, uh, as people would have you believe. Zar Slaflar. Ah, what's your little electrified nightmarish? Molten Horde Electrified Nightmarish. Hmm. Pretty much B3, yeah. But I already do have an Ancient Legendary shoulder pad, so it's really uh, min-maxing stats at that point. I mean, if I find a nice Ancient Legendary weapon, I guess I'll use that. I need an Ancient Legendary hack, because I'm pretty sure that's how I was building my character. And, uh... Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, oh, pants. I need Ancient Legendary pants. Oh, okay. What do you die already, Zar Zar Safar 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 Par? I remember that was an explosion. Ow. Damage reduction for each revived minion, that's right. 
They are insane. This is Torment 16 B3, and this isn't even as high as it goes. This is it goes even higher than this. It really does. And that's not even like the highest numbers I can pop out. Like usually if I use my skills correctly, get the right number of revives. I got a whole bunch of stuff running. Like I think I can hit like somewhere around like 50 billion or something like that. It really just depends. God, this game is so laggy. 10 revives. Let's go. We're just going to complete this rift, and then once we complete this rift, we're going to go play another character. You and me both, B3. You and me both. You and me both. I remember I had so much trouble with defensive cooldowns on this guy. No matter how I tried, no matter how hard I, I, I built him like defensively, he just never was quite there defensively. Never was quite quite there. I swear he has like 95% resistances too, and he's and he still just doesn't. 1.145 million HP, by the way. Million. 1.45 million. That needs to recharge. Get them death's breaths. Them breaths. Sir. Dah. That was 240 million. That was 5.9 billion. What's the point of even seeing all these numbers? They fly by so fast. So basically how this guy was set up, if, if, if I'm remembering correctly, was the more crowd control and impairing effects that he has on a target, the higher the damage that the target takes. And uh, if I remember correctly, I was building, um, obviously, Decrepify because that gives them a huge um, impairment. Um, there was also some other ways I was impairing targets as well. I think my girl is set up for impairments. Uh, what does she got? She's got a slow. Yeah, she has a slow. Um, she has erosion. Another slow. Ow! Alright. Don't even know what I died to. Guess I should be paying attention and not looking at my character's abilities. Alright. My bad. I 
I mean, that's the thing that always bothered me, is that there was no end game, there was no place for you to test yourself against. You just you just kept going up a never-ending ladder. Like, you know, when you get to hell difficulty and you're in an eight-man group and you go fight Iswal, you know this is like a monster that has tons of defense and tons of HP, and you can test yourself against this monster to see how you built your character, and you can refine your character against this monster. But like, in Diablo 3, there was no refining yourself against a monster. It was, it was, oh, you beat that monster? All right, well, we have another one for you. Oh, you beat that monster? Okay, well, we have another one for you. Oh, you beat that monster? Okay, well, we have another one for you. Oh, you beat that monster? Okay, well, we have another one for you. Oh, you beat that monster? Well, we have another one for you. Oh, am I, am I a little bit redundant here? Because that's literally Diablo. Redundant. Diablo 3, redundant. If it sounds like I don't like the game, I mean, I definitely did put lots and lots of hours into this game. So let's not say that I don't like it. Let's just say that uh, at the end, my conclusion was, it's not Diablo 2. The Rift Guardian has arrived. What belt did I get? Ow, Rift Guardian, why are you ripping me to shreds? I didn't even touch you. Yeah, so what? I'm in your house. There's a bunch of people in your house. Calm down. Your little Torment 16 house. Slice you with my scythe, then I will stand back far away. I don't want to fight you, and you cannot make me stay. Resurrect your bodies and turn them into my army. Are you dead? You're dead. Okay, good. Die and stay dead. Hey, some pants. Are they ancient legendary pants though? Probably not. Depth diggers. A primary skill that generates resource. Deal 95% additional damage. I've got like a million pairs of those. It's funny how uh, I've played for so long at this game that it's all starting to come back to me, and then I'm like, oh yeah, those, I don't want those. Cord of the Poopy Doopy Head. Alright, we defeated. Yep, we're done. Let's go to another character. Yay! Um, when does my vacation start? It literally starts on launch day. So, like, dead in the middle of the week. My girlfriend dyed her hair highlighter pink. It's so pink. <laughs> it's so pink. You want to come show everybody on camera your pink hair? Yes, she does. Like a voice from beyond. Deviant Brew popped out of nowhere and is like, yes, she does. <laughs> just stick just stick your head right here. That's like a good thing. You can stick your head. There you go. Let's see it on some hair. There you go. See the hair? You gonna see it? Highlighter pink. Highlighter pink. There you go. What's the highlight? The see, I do have a girlfriend, y'all. See, see, she exists. She exists, and she's got highlighter pink hair. Jewel B said the pinkest of pink. <laughs> Bye. All right. So after you complete L, what places do you plan to farm? After I complete hell? I mean, honestly, just getting to hell is, is difficult in, in Diablo 2. You know, like, once you actually get there, it's like, oh, is my character actually capable of handling hell? And most of the time, he's not. Like, you get to hell, and you're like, oh. 
I'll go back to Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have an eight man group, you should be able to handle it. I mean, yeah, we'll probably die a bunch, but we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. It really depends on the group and, and how the group's composed. You guys' group, I'm sure, is going to be composed properly. My, my group, probably not so much. We did we did a test run on Vanilla Law yesterday, and it took us eight and a half hours. Oops. I did exit... Ah, God. Exit game actually took me out of the game. Save and exit is, is usually just supposed to take you back to the, the main menu. I'm booting it back up. Let's go play with my character that has a freaking cow. He's only level 41. So we might actually have some kind of challenge with uh, with this particular character. I don't know. I probably did not finish building her. She probably does not know. I, don't, I probably have no clue where she's actually supposed to be. Let's uh, start out with something easy like Torment 2. And uh, we'll go to Adventure Mode. Drops were trash with the auction house in place. I don't remember the drops being trash. I just remember... Most people not having access. Oh, look, she doesn't have any of her points spent. Uh, what the hell is she even building? She's got Frost Nova, Magic Weapon, Ice Armor, Meteor, Magic Missile, and Ray of Frost. Okay. And it looks like I have Ray of Frost set up to be an AoE ability. Interesting. I mean, uh, right off the bat, I guess I could just slam some points into something. Hey, What's up, Woogie? I'm live streaming a book on TikTok. You're live streaming a book? Yeah. I don't know what it's called. What's it called? These Big Nuts. That's a terrible book. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a kid's book. And I have it on loop, so... <laughs> uh, movement speed would be very nice, too. I like movement speed. And let's put everything else in, uh, into Tentelladonto. Intelligent. Critical hit and critical hit damage, yes, please. Oh, you heard that, Julby? You heard that. And uh, da, 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 attack speed. Oh, good. Good. I gotta put in points. I'm not even sure why they aren't put in. I'm pretty like 900% sure that they should have already been put in. Which means they must have got reset at some point. That's built with a ZB3. Not an S. You amateur. Let 
the uh, Crusader. I have three of them. I'm pretty sure I built them like multiple different ways. Multiple different ways. Lord, the load times in this game are terrible. I don't understand. And then even when you get there, it's laggy. So, can we do Torment 2 on this character? It looks doable. It's going to be slow. It's going to be slow and it's going to be painful, but it looks like it's doable. Slow and painful is not what I was hoping for. You know what, this character is interesting and all, but let's go take a look at my Crusaders. You can obviously tell I put a lot of time into the Crusaders since I have three of them. You know why I put a lot of time into the Crusader? Because I really like the Paladin and the Diablo 2. And I was really trying to make a Crusader that was, like, decent. Like, like, like a Paladin. And it just never really worked out right. It never really worked out good. I think I remember, like, no matter what I built, like, it still was never quite right. No, I don't want to exit Diablo. Leave the game. Just, just leave the game. Come on. Uh, she doesn't even really have a build. She's like level 50-something. She's not maxed out yet. I think I was just playing around with stuff with her. She didn't even have her Paragon's point, Paragon points put in. So I really don't know. Oh, 41. She's only level 41. Uh, let's see. Which of these many Crusaders am I going to pick? Wydock. Who looks like he's a little tanky. Which is why I almost never used the sets, Julby. Um, I like went out of my way not to use the sets. Escalon, I mean, it's up to you, buddy. If you want to join, join. I mean, if you know what you're doing, at least a little bit, usually that's more than enough to keep up. Hmm. Let's check out Mr. Uh, Mr. Wydock. I bet you he's probably my first paladin, or my first crusader. Why is it always set to act one normal? Like, every single time I pick up a character. Why is it always set to act one normal? I have no clue what torment he's on. I really do not. I don't even know if he has any good equipment. I might have stolen it for other characters for all I know. I really really don't. I haven't I haven't stepped foot on most of these characters in like a year and a half, probably more. Enemies of the Nephilim surround you.
So uh, it looks like he's using the hammered in set. Okay. I think he's a little overpowered for this uh, torment level. Hmm. Bad luck for you, no, not right now. I'm gonna forget. I will. At least I'm being honest. I will forget. <laughs> At least I'm being honest. Alright, I'm gonna have to up the torment on this. He's um he is way too low. Torment three is way too low for this guy. He didn't even have all his points put in. So so supposedly I can up the torment? No, I can't I can't raise the torment, but I have to make I can I can make a new game, okay. Whoo that when you're standing in the light in the kitchen, it's even more pink. Good lord. That jank is as pink as pink and pink. Alright, let's try Torment 16. If we're if it's too hard for us, we can we can always back out. Whatever. There's no, there's not really there's any repercussions for anything. The safety patrol. So let me take a look at my, uh, God, there's like 18 hydrates. You guys are rude. There. Hydrated. Alright. Accept. Let's go. Didn't I literally just spend these... I'm gonna fight somebody. Nephilim rifts and greater rifts are a good place to look for legendary items. Y'all's rude. Okay. Torment 16 might be a little bit too high for this character. Let's go down one torment level. Just one torment level. Let's see what happens. And of course, I I didn't even like. I mean, pop my damn cooldowns, sirs. Ain't, that ain't that ain't right. All right, so he's not at torment sixteen like the necromancer is. That's for sure. So uh, let's lower down to thirteen. Let's see how that works out. I gotta repair my equipment real quick. Oh yeah, I remember how I got this guy built. He doesn't even need to be in combat. I remember. He doesn't even need to be in combat. That was his whole thing. Like he could just he could just attack from far away and he could still 
Because what happens is, is I set it up so that the hammers themselves can spawn hammers. So every time I, I use my hammer ability, I spawn my hammers. So as you can see, wherever my hammer ends, more hammers come out of the hammers, and they just they just continually spam more and more hammers. That was a nice 23 billion damage. But I can't take any hits though. Like it's this is uh, this is not correct. Let's try one more lower down. Can't take any hits to save my life, but can dish out 23 billion damage. Well, hello there, Borzog the Shames. That was a good 32 billion damage. I'm not exactly sure how I just did 32 billion damage, but whatever. 32 billion. Okay, I'm starting to get an idea of how I built my character. It's taking me a second. It's a it's a whole thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. See that 61 billion? 61 billion? I just remembered. I remembered how that actually worked. Blinded enemies take massive amounts of more damage than everything else. So, um, I don't remember how exactly I did this, but I set it up so that my any monster that was blinded, it didn't matter um, who they were or what they were, um, if they were blinded, they took massive amounts of extra damage. And um, so basically what you do is you blind somebody and then you hit them and you see that was 31 billion damage. 31 billion damage is a lot of damage. I feel like that's a lot. I still don't understand why I'm dying though. It's got to be something wrong with uh, with how I'm remembering how my character works. Because I remember I didn't die all the time on this character. Something in the way that I was building him has changed or I stole a piece of his equipment or something. Which gotta be. Because man he dies a lot. Like and really easily too. It could be. Something in my setup might have been nerfed. You're absolutely correct on that, B3. It's been so long since I played. They very well could have just taken something that I was relying on for uh, damage reduction and nerfed it like crazy. It's the ring, isn't it? I think I remember now. It is the ring. The compass rose. While moving, damage taken is reduced by 50%. While standing still, damage dealt is increased by 100%. So I relied on the fact that if I kept moving, I would gain increased damage. 
as long as I was moving. Or I was long, uh, decreased damage as long as I was moving. And when I stand still, I gain 100% extra damage. So the longer I stand still here, you see how it's uh, stopping directions. It's now 100%. And, uh, and as I move, you notice how it ticks up. So it kind of balances back and forth. So when I'm when I'm standing still, I actually lose all my damage reduction. I remember now. But I gain massive amounts of damage in the process, which is nice. Well, he's doing okay in Torment uh, 12. I think I might even be able to do a little bit better. Ow! I was scratching my nose! You're literally like a fruit fly trying to eat me or something. Throw one off in the distance and we do not care who they hit. Kill everything at end of the range doesn't really matter if you're a demon or no. And then I just, I literally just died by I, what? What did I die by? I don't even know. I have to go back town and uh, repair my gear real quick because I keep dying so much. I'm certainly doing okay damage wise though. Just go ahead and salvage everything. I don't care. Bottomless Potion of Fear. Mm -hmm. Why is the inventory so large in this game? Like, is it, is it just me, or does, is the inventory just, like, ridiculously large in this game? Like, an armor that would normally take up six slots in Diablo takes up two. Gloves that would normally take up four slots are taking up, again, two. My dearest Heydrick, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. Our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mistress. Your strength is needed to end the horrors that beset this world. My final wish is that you find your path. Love always. Mira. Mira. The hell am I? Oh, I see it. Can't I have the map up at the same time? Can I please have the map up at the same time? It's only up there in the top right hand corner, and I don't like it. I want it down here. I always hated these guys. All the hectic of trying to get the loot goblin. I got some of the loot goblins, but not all of them. Dude, the number of hammers that you can uh, that you can output is kind of stupid. It's, it's really it's really quite dumb. You guys see how many hammers I can put out in like a half a second? The Unicorn Rainbow level. Oh, 
I want to check out my other uh, characters to see how they were built. It's the first time I've come back to this game in a long time. I gotta, I gotta actually refresh my memory. Four billion eight thousand seven hundred teen damage everywhere cause we got all the gleams. I'm not quite ready for the torment sixteen, but that's okay cause I am really quite mean. I think one of the most interesting things about this build is that it's <laughs> it is very much a build of I don't really need to be in combat. You just kind of fire your hammers off into the distance and you just let them do their work. Is there anything actually going to be over here? Killing everything with hammers, that is what we do. Don't come near me or I will shoot you. 27 billion damage, that is what I do. Ah, with your little thingies. Okay, that was ouchy. A freaking oversized shield of World of Warcraft. Maybe I have a shield so big that literally no man could ever even hold that thing, let alone block with it. And that's because I built him this way. I must wait longer. Ow, with your freaking wall in front of me. I looked away to read chat. Stop taking advantage of my reading chat. Oh, you and your wall. I literally tried to throw a hammer at him and kill him, and he spawned a wall directly in front of my face and stopped me from shooting my hammers. Um... Hello, sir. Sir. Die. Fifty nine billion damage coming at your heart. We'll have to see what my other characters are. I feel like you can make a class tanky and uh you can definitely make a class tanky in Diablo three and I and I was able to do so. But in doing so, the characters ceased doing any real damage of any 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 worth. It was pretty much either do damage or die, or you know be tanky, and there was no there was no uh, in between. I think I have a Thorns Crusader Skywalker. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I have no clue what Torment he's on, but... 
I need he, he, I need he. he didn't even get to say it. He didn't even get to say I need healing. He just instantly died. Stop moving for four seconds. All my defensive capability goes away. And as soon as my defensive capability goes away, the archers are killing me. I also didn't like how they made items kind of useless. Like, it always felt like to me whenever I was playing Diablo 3 that um, a lot of the items in the games were a were absolutely useless. Like, they were they were nothing more than things for you to pick up and bring back to town to dismantle. Did anybody el el else kind of get that feeling? Like, that most of the items in the game were pretty much just things for you to dismantle. I grow wee. I grow wee. Crafting supplies and things to make more crafting supplies, exactly. I just got killed by a butterfly. Time to test my What's up, Kane? Patience. I mean, basically... In a nutshell, what it is, is it's not so much apply your mind to the problem as it is find the pre-prepared solution that we have for you that's already made into the game. Diablo 2 was all about, hey, find something that works. We don't know. What builds can I make? We don't know. What class should I play? We don't care. What items should I use? I don't know. And you would literally make something work. And then the devs would be like, wow, that's really cool. We never thought of that. It's freaking awesome. Uh-oh, here we go. Another goblin. Where are you at, goblin? Oh, you're an odious collector. All right, buddy. Let's have a little bit of fun with you. Let's have a little bit of fun with you. Uh, lag? I'm overburdened. He dropped me a plan. Oh, damn, freaking full already. Dear God, Jesus in heaven. Did I just find another Jehenna's? I mean, Jace's, Jace's hammer of the vigilance it's not as good as mine it's not, it's not as good as mine chance to deal area damage on hit blessed hammer damage by 20% crusader only I guess it's a little bit better than mine damage is way lower 
see. Where's my damage? Okay, bless it. Can't even remember where my damage is listed at. Oh, right here. Seven, seven, four, two. And it goes down to five, five, eight. The damage is just too, it's too ridiculously different between the two items. That 22% area damage on hit is kind of nice, though. I'm returning to town. Repair. Salvage. The Neanderthal. That's the belt right there. Justice spawns a blessed hammer when it hits an enemy, and justice is your uh, is that main ability right there. That's what I'm using. What is this plan? Teaches the blacksmith how to use a doodad. You would though. You totally would. You're not even. It's not even. You're not even exaggerating. Like that's the sad thing, Skywalker. It's uh, you would literally go into one rift and you would find like literally almost the entire set in one rift. Bad luck for you, friend. <laughs> One more week of work. We are three days away, sir. Not yet. Sounds like a very sad problem. I'm gonna have to ask you to schedule some time off, sir. We make time for those things in our lives that are important. I'm remembering how to play my characters. Wouldn't it be sad if you hadn't played in a while and you had a bunch of hardcore characters and you're just logged in and you're trying to remember how the hell to play your character and you die. And you're like, uh... Heal me. Deviant Root took two weeks off, man. Oh, come on! I was literally right there! You know the... Ooh, them freaking uh, acid balls he fires. Them tanks be painful. Yeah, well, you're dead, and I'm dead, and we can die together. We can die together. It's a very fun thing to do. 
Please don't break my equipment. I really have to poo. Yes, it does. Oh, hello, Blighter. Alright, well, that's another character uh, down. We've managed to kill one rift on. We're going to revisit all the characters. Why not? My stomach feels strange. Did you forget to eat again? No. In fact, I decided to get the day's eating out of the way all at once. I kept at it until I couldn't take another bite. Well... Oh. It sounds like you ate too much, then. Being a mortal is very complicated. He's missing his rings. He's missing his rings, and it looks like he's wearing all ancient legendary equipment, and I can almost guarantee you he was using the freaking uh, litany set. Very dangerous. Then why are you here? With great danger comes great profit. I don't know why he doesn't have something in this slot. Hello there. So I have no idea what this character's supposed to be. I really don't. It looks like he uh, was focusing on Blessed Shield. And um, he's missing his boots. He's missing his rings. He has a um, teardrop... Of the Star Weaver.
You look like you could use a new item of uh, indeterminate usefulness. I can almost guarantee you this guy is not ready for Torment 16. <laughs> if he was ever ready for Torment 16, I probably stole all his armor. The fact that he is missing his rings and his boots is a very bad sign. Extremely bad sign. I'm pretty sure he's a shield toss paladin. Ah, paladin. Crusader. I'm pretty sure he's a t shield to toss crusader. And I don't even remember if I got him to work properly. Let's see how quickly I die in Torment 16. Shall we? About 37 million. Just over there. I never imagined such a creature. I'm going to go ahead and bring down the Torment level. 37 million is nowhere near enough for 16. He might be okay in Torment 12. If I can remember this right. Nope, he ain't ready for Torment 12 either. Not enough rap. And I'm pretty sure it's because I took his rings and amulets. I mean, his rings and his boots. I can't remember what his rings and his boots were, but I think they were important to his build. I require more rap. He's doing, like, nothing. His shield is doing, like, 18 million. I must wait I longer. Him. Let's bring down the Torment a little bit more. Let's bring him to Torment 9. Yeah, he's doing about 26 million for a shield, Tosh, which is which is not a lot. Especially when in Torment 9, the monsters have 4 billion health. He needs to be doing a hell of a lot more than, than million. He needs to be doing million. Like, billions of damage. I must wait longer. Alright, this guy, um, let's see. We're going to have to lower this down quite a bit for him. And I, I can't really blame this, this build right off the top of my head because, to be honest with you, he might have been built correctly at some point. And then I took all his gear. Not enough rat. Probably for the next Crusader that we're going to take a look at. We might as well just go take a look at the next Crusader, because he probably has the gear that I stole from, from this guy. Like, I can almost guarantee you he has the gear that I stole from this guy. So, uh, so let's go look at him, shall we? He has the, he has the ill-begotten gains. All right, B3, thanks for joining in, man. It's always fun seeing you here. This guy don't even have a shield on. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that he doesn't even have a shield on. Or wrists. And no gems in his armor. Did they, like, remove some of the items from the game or something? Because, like, I swear my characters were better geared than this. Thorns. Well, he's using a hack. 
So, yep, thorns. He's also using... Mm. Mm, I am. He's using the thorn set. Punish and... Interesting. Why doesn't he have a shield, though? And why doesn't he have any gems in his armor? I'm a little bit worried about the fact that he doesn't have any gems in his armor. And he's got no bracers on either. Shields do I have laying around? Do I have any shields laying around? I do. What is your deepest wish? To serve my order. I have no clue about this guy. I've got absolutely no clue whatsoever. I really don't. Do you map Power Master Optimus Prime? Do you know? Why are we shooting people Power Master Optimus Prime? Why can't we just talk? Why can't we just talk? Look, 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 look. This is why you died that Megatron. Right? Let's go die. Oh wait, we haven't put all our Paragon points in yet. 19 unspent points. Actually, hold on. Hold up. Heal me. Ow. Not yet. Patience. I could do that. I mean, he's kind of staying alive, I suppose. He's doing some pretty massive amounts of damage, too. Get messed up. Patience. Yeah, he's not having any trouble whatsoever, really. Like 
shaft before the wind. Not yet. <laughs> 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 I mean, I saw that coming a mile off. I was really just trying to see if I could tank it. I really wanted to uh, to kind of see like how tanky he is. He's like just barely tank enough for t tanky enough for Torment 16. Like he's just just barely there. And like if you play it just right, he's okay. But he's not like invulnerable or anything. If he stands in the if he stands in the AOE spells, he, he dies just like everybody else does. So Hmm. What is his damage? Three hundred and thirty four thousand, which is completely not the right stat to look at for him because he is a Thorns Paladin there, Thorns Crusader. So we need to look at his thorns damage, which is down here, 169,000. Hmm. I've got like tons of different things that deal thorns damage. So like enemies affected by provoke are taking double thorns. The sanguine braces is 100% thorns to everybody nearby. Um, legendary uh, axe applies my thorns damage to my attack. So it acts as a way for me to increase my damage with thorns. The um, Heart of Iron is giving me a thorns equivalent to 293% of my death vitality, so that's why I have a bunch of vitality gems and everything. Not yet. I'm already kind of getting bored. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already kind of getting bored. Not ready yet. I'm injured. Not yet. I'm fading. Patience. These guys are painful. Not yet. Okay, you can split into multiple pieces. All right. Go ahead and finish that off so we don't have to deal with you no more. I remember a game I used to play was to try and get as high of a Nephilim charge as I could. The uh, the Nephilim glory charges. I always tried to get as many of those orbs running at one time as I possibly could. a good idea until what skyworker until what I mean, it's true. I kind of already am. And you know what the sad thing is, Skywalker? I actually picked this day on purpose because this is one of my shorter days. I got to go in tonight at 4 a.m. So I'm going to have to cut this. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this stream a little bit shorter than normal just simply because it's. I, I got to go to bed and get some sleep before my shift at 4 a.m. in the morning. But um, tomorrow. 
we're gonna we're gonna do something interesting tomorrow too. Um, I, what I had planned um, was to you know basically take a journey through Diablo 2's past, and uh, you know we already took a look at Diablo one. We already took a look at Diablo one Hellfire. We already took a look at Diablo two Classic non expansion, and we took a look at Classic uh, Diablo two expansion. So the next uh, the next step was Diablo three, which uh, which is a very um, interesting look. I definitely want people to, to see Diablo 3, to see that I have played Diablo 3 also. I want you guys to know that when I talk about Diablo 3 very poorly, you know, as I often do, I want you guys to know that it's not from inexperience, that I'm not terrible at the game or anything, that I didn't just, like, get to Torment 1 and then cry my little eyeballs out. I got to Torment 16 on several characters. I got to quite a high number of Greater Rifts. Um, I can't remember the exact number of Greater Rifts I beat. Is there is there somewhere in here that you can actually take a look and see what like the maximum number or the maximum Greater Rift that you've completed is? All those AOE attacks. God, I had to I had to run out of there because it was just like a flood of AOE attacks. Look at all those freaking ice orbs. What is this guy? Shielding, frozen, wormhole, electrified. Freezing, shielding, wormhole, electrified. All right. I must wait longer. Heal me. Basically, with a guy like this, the only thing you can do is uh, is run back and forward. Because he spawns like 18,000 of those little icicle craps. And, uh, and they cover the entire zone around where you're fighting. And uh, it's next to impossible to do anything while you're next to him. Just like that. And if I take out his minions, he shouldn't be a um, he shouldn't be a major threat. I still have to keep away from his stupid ice circles, though. My demon hunter should be fun. I remember I built the demon hunter very interestingly. Um, I actually remember, like specifically remember, that um, the demon hunter was one of the weirdest builds that I had made. And there's a very good chance I'm not going to remember how to play her. Or him. <coughs> I'm just not. I'm going to log in and be like, what the hell is this bull crap? <sighs> so terrible. I think, I, if I remember correctly, the Demon Hunter had a bunch of traps. Like, because I'm trying to remember what his build was. And I remember it had something to do with, like, the number of traps that I had up at any given time. And, like, the more traps I had up, the more damage I was dishing out. And, uh... Like... <sighs> God, I can't remember. It sounds right. I'm low, sir. I'd like to introduce you to my shield. Come back here, sir. No, no, no. Oh, no. Dang it, he got away. Oh, punk. 
Oh, he's over here. How did you get over there? An amulet? Nice. An amulato? What's an amulet? Legendary amulet. Legendary. I know I know why they decided to change it from unique to legendary. I really don't. That amulet seems freaking weird as crap. While not taking damage, damage dealt is increased by up to 100%. Damage taken is increased by up to 50%. Uh-oh, Onyx has come online. Super lag, super lag, super laggy, and I died. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys saw that, like, straight up freeze of the game there. I'm returning to town. I don't even think I'm playing online. Ow. Why are you guys so rude to me? It is not nice. Onyx, were you hung over, Onyx? My stomach feels strange. Did you forget to eat it? How do I have two of these? Came in town to repair. Stop it. Alright, we'll go take a look at the Demon Hunter next. This guy, he's kind of broken, isn't he? What's up, sir? Die. What's up, Emlo, sirs? All you die. Thank you. Torment 16, bye. The hell's that? A legendary blue. Blessed Hammer gains the effect of Dominion Rune. Justinin's Mercy. I have no clue what that is. It's been too long. Yo, you guys just one shot me. Pretty impressive seeing as how I was doing so good earlier. Not sure which one of you just one shot me, but that was a little bit rude. That creature must die. Not yet. My strength fails. My strength fails. Oh, shielding. Okay. Shielding not good. I don't understand why this one's lagging. I really don't. I'm I'm not online. I'm on single player, right? So. It shouldn't be that bad. My computer is much more powerful than the last time I played, and I don't remember having any trouble last time. Patience. 
I don't know. Not super concerned about it. I, I doubt I'm going to boot Diablo 3 back up. After this stream is over, I'm probably just going to uninstall it again. <laughs> I mean, even if I did want to play Diablo 3, even if I did want to play Diablo 3, I'd just play it on my Nintendo Switch. I grow weak, he says. Won't you come over here, Mr. 622 billion HP monsters? Let's try die. Where's your buddy? Is that your, is that your, uh, your, 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 yep, yep, that's him. That's the solid. Dang solids. What's up, Koopa Troopa? Um, well, I mean, Diablo 2 Resurrected is our focus. I'm not streaming Diablo 3 right now. We're doing a journey through the past of Diablo 2. As far as I'm concerned, we are in a, a journey through the past of Diablo 2. Everything that I do is focused around Diablo 2 Resurrected. So, as far as I'm concerned, it can stay Diablo 2 Resurrected. Lord, stop being so rude. Oh, God, explosions. How did you guys just murder me without me? You know what? I'm going over here. Y'all's rude. Now, come over here, please. In this Not consecrated yet. ground. Almost. Oh no, I have to revive at my checkpoint. Let's see what happens, shall we? How is how is town my checkpoint? That's what I want to know. How is town my checkpoint? I mean in Diablo town is your checkpoint, but still. <laughs> still. Hmm. All the way back through the dungeon we will roll. Now it's starting to feel like Diablo, see? When you die, you gotta walk all the way back. Mm. Let's walk all the way back. Do, do, do. This is what you call the walk of shame. You've died and you're shamefully walking back to your corpse. Of course, I also have all my equipment, so that's, that's still not like Diablo 2. You gotta walk, you gotta do the walk of shame naked. The naked walk of shame. Be running around picking up random pieces of clothes. Like, I need to put something on. Let's go into here and see if we can kill some stuff. Let's... Oh, you're still alive? Die. You're still alive? Die. Look at y'all dying so quick. And then there's a monster over here being a pain in the butt. Stop. Lord, I had to go out and put out flyers for the missing cat. I had to put on 
actual real pants. You know, when it's your day off, you're not supposed to have to put on real pants, okay? Days off are your are your uh, sleepy pants or sweatpants or like shorts days, all right? We're not putting on real pants on our days off, okay? My girlfriend asked me, she was like, she, was, she asked me to go do something. I don't know what it was. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. And, uh, and I literally am putting on my pants. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I've got to put on pants. It's like, it's my day off. I don't want to put on pants. <laughs> it's like a man should be able to walk around the house with no pants on his day off. Okay, bully. What the hell did I just desync? Diablo 3 has some desyncing too. What's up, buddy? Ow, y'all quit it. Yeah, come over here. No, no, come, no, no. A little bit further. Come over, come over. No, 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 come on. Go around! Why are you so hurty? Not yet. Oh, reflects damage. Must have been some kind of interesting interaction between the thorns effects. What's up, spider? Patience is a virtue. Not ready yet. Ow, I didn't know you were frozen. Not yet. And explodey. A two-handed mace. God, my inventory's so full of junk. The sheer massive amount of loot that you get in this game is ridiculous. Casting a lightning skill charges you with lightning, causing you to deal 699% weapon damage to, as lightning every five seconds to nearby enemies. Alright, where the boss at? Where the boss? Alright, Escalon, I'll see you later, man. Giant butterfly over here. Another giant butterfly. Oh, he got that suck skill. Vortex. Out of room. The Rift Guardian has found you. What's up, Rift Guardian? I'll drive me into the dirt then. I just got hit by a random monster while I was teleporting and he freaking one shot me. I'm returning to town. That was absolutely beautiful. 
Just just standing there casting my teleport and a rock comes out of outer space and just obliterates me. A rock from outer space. What's up, buddy? Ow, he hit so hard. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to kill him. I don't think I will. He's, uh... For some reason or another, I just I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill him. He's uh, he's doing way too much damage for my meager, meager little 1.4 million health. Meager, meager little 1.4 million. One million four hundred and forty-three thousand one hundred and twenty-two health. Meager, meager. If only I was in more of the three or four million range. Hmm. Less than I can't I can't even take like one attack from him. We pop all my cooldowns. Even with all my cooldowns, I can't take one attack. But with all my cooldowns, at least I live for a couple seconds to actually uh, hurt him. I was, uh, I did some damage, I guess. I'll just have to die a few times, you know, because it's they make it easy enough. Perendi. All the way up here is really far. Hmm. Dude, I popped all my cooldowns in advance, too. I popped my iron skin. I popped my freaking, uh... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. What the hell uh, is my iron skin doing? Because my iron skin's not saving me, and, uh, and it usually does. Reflective skin. Uh, while active attackers take extra thorns damage. Huh. All right, well, we'll try popping stone skin, go in there with our, with our uh, concentrated ground, and we'll uh, and we'll just dish out the damage that we can dish out. There's really nothing else we can do. He hits like a truck. He hits like a Mack truck. Torment sixteen, Mack truck.
died by the uh, the freaking ads. Let's back off a little bit and give my uh, cooldowns a chance to come back. I wish I could do that. Heal me. God bless it. He didn't even hit me. It was something else that hit me, and it killed me. Like, uh, it wasn't the monsters, and it wasn't him. It was something that was on the ground around him. It was just like an AoE effect. Huh. I mean, he's slowly dying, but man, this is... Uh, I'm, I got my Diablo 2 vibe on. I get to run all the way back to the boss. Running all the way back to Diablo. He killed me with his lightning inferno. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Come on, one more try. Let's do this. I feel like I almost need to kite him because he's applying some sort of AoE damage effect on the ground. And I think as long as I'm kiting him, the AoE damage effect isn't hitting me. And I think that's literally what's going on. Or he hits me right in the face like that. I mean, you know, there's times where he hits me right in the face. Finally! Click on everything, I don't care. Pick it up. Go back to town. Alright, so let's move on to the next character. It was fun. Yay, thorns. Yay, that's fun, that's fun, yay. Yeah, so it's fun, yay. You guys are yay. Yay! Can you, like, shift-click items in? We can. Okay. Yay. Next. I already got bored with him, like, halfway through the rift. I hate to say it. I was already bored. It was boring. I was already bored. That was boring. That was boring. Alright, so what do we have left? We have a witch doctor... Which, I remember vomiting on people a lot. That was a thing. I, <laughs> I had lots of fun vomiting on people. Um, and then we also have the Demon Hunter. Uh, let's take a look at the Demon Hunter and see what's going on with him. Uh, before we uh, we hop into a game, though... Um, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Before we hop into a game, immediately accidentally clicks resume game. All right, let's just go ahead and change him to Torment 16. We'll drop it if we need to. Um, I remember most of my characters being fairly far along. And I will be right back. I'm going to take a quick break. Pee break. You guys need to take a pee. Take a pee. Get it on. Get the pee on. Go for it.
Heh. <laughs> Alright. What does this character got? He's using... Companions. To your side. Sentries deal increased in damage. Your primary skills... 12,000% increased damage for every active sentry. Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> Conviction of the elements. Wolf companion. Uh, and no weapon slot. Dead Man's Legacy. Let's go. I'll see you, Anthica. Have a good day, man. Nobody wants to watch me play Diablo 2. And I knew it. I, I really did. I was like, yeah, they're probably not going to want to watch me play Diablo 3. Well, he does fine on Torment 16. Go figure. I require aid. I must wait Ow. Not enough hatred. Still waiting. God, this build is so stupid easy. Like, all I gotta do is just spam my little sentries, and the more I spam my sentries, the more damage I have, and the more... <laughs> and it's all AoE damage, too, so, like, everything is being hit all at once. I'm literally just, just like, figuring out how to not stand in the back. Like I just kind of wanted to come up and actually have some fun. I guess I could just stand in the back. Why not? I'll we'll stand in the back. Who cares? There's a treasure chest. Honestly, I think I've kind of seen everything I need to see about this character already. I can't do that. He's using Conviction of the Elements as well, which is um, which is going to make my damage random. Because it gives me a bonus depending on what specifically, you know, I'm on. Ooh, Vortex with Arcane Orbs. Devastatingly evil combination. No, I will not do that. Devastatingly evil. That would not be wise. Not ready yet. And I keep not paying attention. Like I'm super not paying attention you to the arcane that. orbs. I'm just like, oh, arcane orbs. Hi, what's up, buddy? 
What's up? How's it going? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I'm wearing. Uh, I'm wearing those things. I forgot. I forgot. I'm wearing the. I'm wearing the. Um, the every shrine spawns a champion thing. I literally surprised myself. Alright, so he's got lightning orbs, he's got frozen, he's got electrified, he's got the full gambit of, he's got the full gambit of just absolute, like, ridiculous AoE spells. I can't do that. I need more hatred. I will not do that. I don't like you, sir. You do way too much damage in AoE spells. He's got the stupid little lightning balls. He's got the stupid little ice, uh, the ice little things that form. He also has the stupid little, um, God bless it. He's got every, he's got literally like everything you could possibly have just to be as annoying as humanly possible for a, uh, a monster. One more time into the breach, shall we? I can't do that. Not enough. I need healing. I wish I could do that. I am renewed. I was trying to get out of the frozen thing and I ran into one of the uh of the lightning orbs. Need more time. I'm wounded. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna kill you. This is a mo this is a matter of pride. We need to kill you. We went sixteen or no, you need to die. And I see your little ice crap. painful. He died. He died. You know, as fun as this character is, I would really like to, uh, to take a look at the Witch Doctor. I don't remember, like, I don't even remember what I got to on the Witch Doctor. I really don't. It's been so long since I played the Witch Doctor, I really just don't even know. I want to go play the Witch Doctor instead. He's doing okay on Torment 16, and I think part of the reason why I'm dying on him is because I don't understand how his build works anymore. Um, there's probably something specific that I'm not doing that would help keep me alive that, uh, you know, would definitely be a nice, helpful thing. Like, probably some particular ability I'm supposed to be spamming for defensive purposes. I can't remember which one. Alright, Deviant Brute Man, I'll see you later. Let's go take a quick look at our Witch Doctor, shall we? Hidden camp. Now, what are you using, sir? Spider queen, toad of hugeness, many, many spiders, the vomit spell. 
I really doubt he can handle Torment 16. I don't remember him ever being in Torment 16. Let's go play around with it, though, just in case. Loading takes so long in Diablo 3. I don't get it. Like it's a pretty long it's a pretty long loading screens. And the Witch Doctor was my necromancer before Necromancer got added. I really wanted a necromancer. I love necromancers on Diablo 2. And um <laughs> didn't have one. Is he ready for Torment 16? He is totally not. Mm -mm. <laughs> he is so not ready for Torment 16. <laughs> Super duper not. Um, Let's lower the difficulty quite a few levels. I don't think he's even ready for Torment 12. Maybe Torment 9. He's not even ready for Torment 9. Look at that frog, though. Alright, guys and gals. I do actually have to get up early tomorrow to uh, to get this stupid job done. I've got to get a bunch of stuff done at work before I can uh, have fun with Diablo 2 Resurrected. I think most of us are in that same boat. And, uh... As much as I would love to stay streaming with you guys, I don't. I just I'm getting really bored with Diablo three in general, and I know it was my idea to bring Diablo three on here in the first place because uh, you know it's a journey through Diablo two's past, but um, I don't I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore Diablo three. <laughs> So I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I have something interesting planned, which is not revolving around Diablo 3. Um, we are going to review footage from the Alpha event, and we're going to talk about Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, we're going to go over a lot of, uh, of information that we've got on hand, and uh, I'll try to make a big day out of it. Um, we shall see. Anyway, until next time, guys. Not Diablo 3. <laughs>